Hey yo, what is going on, everybody? It is me, the Fading Fire, and today I got a, uh, I got the absolute max damage you could get out the wall with Eliza, right? Uh, again, shouts out to our boy, right? The hero, Chanel, right? Uh, I already knew about this combo, but I didn't know the exact properties of it until I saw Chanel do it a couple times, right? So I researched it uh, in the lab, and I finally figured it out, and I kind of got it down, right? Uh, are the properties of how to get the combo down at least so I wanted to bring it to you guys uh, So we could all perfect it together all right, so uh, the, the combo uh, I guess I should tell you guys all Right, so that's the combo right that right there And that's all guaranteed and that's 94 damage, right? That is a huge amount of damage, right? And again, it doesn't have to be that combo. They just have to get to the wall and get wall splatted to where you can hit them with a dive kick with three and flip them over. But before we get to that, I want you guys to understand a couple things, right? First, down one into uh, down one into Dark Blade with one, right? It's not with two, it's with one, right? So you really have to get that movement down pack two and not do that, <laughs> right? So when you get them to the wall, remember, down one, Usually we're doing down one into two, but this time it's going to be down one into one. Another thing, this isn't gender specific, right? Uh, it works with all characters, female, bear. Uh, look, I won't promise bears because I haven't looked, right? I don't. I told you guys I don't play them in practice mode. I hate playing them in online mode, right? I don't. I don't mess with bears, right? So I don't know if it works on bears, but every other character I know it works on, right? Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And another thing is I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about these dive kick, the dive kick plus and, you know, the dive kick plus and all that other stuff. So what I mean by that is it depends on what range you hit them at, right? Just like the dive kick with four, right? If you hit them up here, you're going to have less frames to work with than if you hit them way down on their tippy toes, right? And we can see that because if we hit him up here. We can't even get a one two right but if we hit him right here we could get a one right we could get a one two combo now if we hit him up here again and try to get a two two we don't have enough frames to work with but if we hit him at the very tip of his toes right even lower even lower right judging the distance is hard right then we could get a two two and if we hit him at the lowest point possible uh, uh, let's see if we can get it nope nope there we go. If we hit him at the lowest point possible, we could true combo into a dive kick back four, right? Now, the reason this happens is because when you hit with the dive kick, right, whether you hit or not, you're still going to go through with that dive kick motion, right? So if you can hit at the lowest point and recover from your dive kick faster, then you're working with more plus frames, right? But if you hit up here, you're still recovering from your you're still recovering from your dive kick while that while they're recovering from getting hit by your dive kick so you have less frames to work with right that makes sense i think that makes sense right so if we hit him way down here right we have way more frames to work with because he hasn't recovered yet but we have recovered from hitting him with the dive kick then we already followed through with the whole motion but if we hit him way up here he's already recovered we're still flying down from the dive kick because we hit him so high and basically this is going to work into the combo because it has the same function on the wall with the dive kick with three right so say if we're way too close to the wall right we didn't hit him low enough right so we didn't have enough frames to work with to hit him with down one into uh into uh dark blade with one right so that is the concept of this combo so this combo isn't necessarily hard is more of judging the distance right and the sweet spot or at least i found the sweet spot for hitting this uh hitting this combo it seems to be the feet area right if you hit them in the feet that was a little too high it has to be like below their knees right below their knees is where i found uh the sweet spot to be right and sometimes you won't even need an instant air dive kick sometimes you'll just uh you could do the regular one but of course if you have enough uh enough distance right so that's around the sweet spot right as you saw that did hit and if 
you know when it's not the sweet spot because when you do the down one you'll completely whiff it right but once you get him at the wall and you do it it's just down one into uh dark blade with one and then the normal wall combo right back four uh quarter circle back four back four into uh quarter circle back two or back one whichever one you want to use and now i know what you're thinking right i know what you're thinking man i could use the ex version of this to get even more damage right don't do it <laughs> don't do it. it it'll it'll still amount to the same the same amount of damage right because uh of the way scaling works so you won't you won't get any like super crazy extra damage so you don't have to worry about using the ex version just go with the normal version because you won't you won't get any extra damage right Right, so we got even less damage, right? It's just the way scaling works uh, on this combo. So just use the normal version of the combo. Uh, like I said, this combo isn't necessarily difficult. I, I do think it's worth going for, right? But I've seen Chanel miss it, right? Because he misjudged the distance. It's, it's a hard thing to see, right? But the sweet spot is like this area around here, right? That's the sweet spot. So the faster, the faster you could get that dive kick off, the better, right? right because while they're still going down on the floor right kind of like while they're rising down that's why they can't be like super low splatted or they won't even like flip over but i hope you guys understand that concept right of uh this is the max damage you could get right and it doesn't have to necessarily be that combo like i said to splat them on the wall it could be any combo as long as you hit that back three in that sweet spot and flip them over and still be able to hit that down one right but like i said it can't be around their their chest area Right? It can't be around like their thigh area. It has to be on the lower parts of their legs. Right? That's where it has to be because you're uh, that's where you have enough plus frames and you've already recovered enough to hit the down one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. That is how you get the max damage out the wall with Eliza. A huge shout out. I know we've uh, got a couple new subscribers, man. Uh, actually, we've gotten a lot past a couple like couple days. Shouts out to all the newcomers, man. Shouts out to the, all the old oldies, right, man? I appreciate all y'all and all y'all support. If you do appreciate the content, go ahead, give a comment, right? I like responding to comments. I always respond to comments uh, unless I miss it, which is unfortunate, but I usually try not to miss comments. Go ahead and give a sub and a like, man. And you know I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all appreciate me too. And I will see y'all in the next one.